My name is Will, and I am five years old. Um, my science question is, how do hovercrafts work? Hi, my name is Mike Randall. I'm the Outreach Coordinator for the Wonders of Physics program. This is a hovercraft that we use in our shows all the time. The basic parts of it are we have an air blower here that blows air underneath the board, under the platform. On the back side we have a, an airtight fabric and we've put a few holes around it and then there's a plastic disc in the center to hold it in. So to understand how a hovercraft works we have to understand a few things about matter. Now we're all made of little tiny things called atoms. So ordinary matter is made out of atoms and little clumps of atoms called molecules. So the different states of matter are solids, liquids, and gases. These ping pong balls represent air molecules. So in so they're moving around very quickly and, and filling up the space that they're given and they're colliding with the walls. Now, atoms are much smaller than these ping pong balls. In fact, I can fit about 840 billion billion air molecules into this ping pong ball. So they're incredibly tiny. But they're, collectively, they're very powerful. Because on average, those air molecules are zipping around at around 1,100 miles an hour. The end of my thumb is about a square inch. Every place I can cover with the end of my thumb, the air molecules colliding on that space, collectively exerting a force of almost the weight of a bowling ball, about 14.7 pounds per square inch. So there's a lot of square inches on this board. Altogether, that's an enormous amount of force pushing this way, and yet nothing's happening. Well, that's because there's just as many air molecules pushing on the other side, so the two forces cancel out. But this air blower here, I can blow additional air molecules under the board, more collisions, more lift force underneath the board, as long as we keep the air contained. This hovercraft, we've actually tested it. It can lift up to 450 pounds with nothing more than this cheap little air blower. The uh, land speeder in the Star Wars movies, they weren't real specific on what was lifting that off the ground. Um, it probably wasn't a hovercraft because hovercrafts need something called a skirt on the bottom. Uh, in our case, this hovercraft has what's called a bag skirt. <laughs> So when I turned that blower on, this skirt kind of bowed out a little bit, and it created a pocket that would trap that pressurized air. That pressurized air is what gives us the lift that makes this hovercraft work.